On today's On Location, it's the first week of January, right after the new year, and I'm fishing with Dave Kuntz and Eric Grundahl, and we're up here on Lake of the Woods. And typically, Lake of the Woods is really good to us. I wouldn't call it a, you know, a three-foot putt, but, you know, most of the time, this is a pretty good body of water, particularly early in the year. Now, these On Location segments are all about sharing what works and what didn't. And in this video, the list of what didn't is a lot longer than what did. <laughs> so uh, we've been here, we're a two day shoot. Uh, yesterday was probably one of the slower days I've ever experienced on Lake of the Woods. Had a nasty cold front, high pressure roll in, and the bite that was stopped. And I think we made a mistake. Uh, what we ended up trying to do is follow the fish off the reefs out into deeper water, and they weren't there. No. Our thinking was that uh, as that high pressure settled in, those fish would do what fish usually do, which is just head for a little bit deeper water, go out there in the mud, and sulk. They're not easy to catch, but typically if you get over the top of them, eventually you can get them to eat. Um, we marked a lot of tulipy, <laughs> we caught a lot of saugers and some little walleyes, but the big walleyes weren't there. So um, our approach, we followed the book, and my experience up here, that's what you're supposed to do. The fish didn't read that book. So uh, day number two rolls around, we decide, hey, we're not going back out there to that deep water. We were all over the place from uh, bridges, staring, just everything out on the main lake. It just wasn't working. So we came up shallow. We're up here uh, in the islands now, set up on a flat that's got a mix of sand and uh, rock on it. And the fish were coming from 13 to 16 feet of water, which following a cold front like that high pressure system that's not where that's not where i would choose to look but that's where they were so we spent most of our time running around looking for fish that weren't there and once we uh pulled our heads out of our keisters and tried something completely different voila there was there was the fish in the last place we expected to look so uh dave since you had the hot hand you tell us what worked so um i put on uh, hot glow perch i started out with a uh Jig and spoon this morning, quarter ounce jig and spoon and a, and a minnow head. And hot glow perch has been really good up here. Um, any fish that I did catch in these days all came on hot glow perch. I think I might have had one on UV green because that's what we start with up here. But hot glow perch was the, was the ticket. Um, minnow head, yep, pretty much today I think I had to. But Eric, you caught some without minnows. I was out without minnows. I had the hot glow perch slab wrap. Uh, lost a bigger fish yesterday out there on the big lake and then caught that nicer fish there, the 23 incher. Um, didn't have the action you had, but definitely still caught some fish with the slab wrap. Well, this is one of those uh, times where um, I'm sure that what we've learned here is going to stick in my mind for a long time. Of course, the worry is maybe it's going to be a red herring the next time this happens. Cold <laughs> yeah. front rolls in. I'm like, I know what to do. <laughs> we run up shallow and everybody's it won't what? work. But uh, that's what's going on up here to Lake of the Woods. Prior to our arrival, the bite was really good. Uh, Eric was on just some smashing bites with the slab wrap. Uh, fish were on the uh, shoulders of the reefs, not up top, not down deep, just kind of on the sides, uh, 18 to say 25 foot. The bite was awesome. Cold front rolls in. And uh, as you've heard, the fish made a huge adjustment. They do seem to be coming back around now. And I would expect that uh, within a couple days, this bite will be going again. So uh, thanks for tuning in. This was one of our more challenging uh, shoots for the winter. And uh, I'm looking forward to an easy one here in the coming uh, week or two. So got to make up for it. Yeah. Get on a banging bite. <laughs> right so, on. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week. In-depth outdoors on location, presented by Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters. Reed's offers the best service, best price, best advice on all your favorite ice fishing gear. Guaranteed. Find them online at reedsports.com.